Hello, hello. This is Mara from Shocking Fit. This is the first time I actually try to record a voiceover, so I apologize if I make any mistakes. As you can see here, I'm starting my workout with a simple shoulder warm up, and my gym has these sticks. If your gym doesn't have these sticks, definitely uh, get something similar like that. You cannot use the bar because it's going to be too heavy, but this warm up has definitely saved my shoulders from many, many injuries in the past I've had, and I feel like it just gets them very, very loose and ready for massive bench pressing I'm gonna be doing today. It's my strength day, so I'm paying a little bit more attention to my shoulders, which usually are the most worn out uh, parts, my, my joints in general. Uh, I only ever had problems with the right shoulder because I used to bench press um, quite with bad form. So that's my warm up right now. I also do a lot of warm up sets as you can see. This is basically just some mobility work in the beginning. I also do some general warm up uh, before this which is just pretty much 5 minutes on a treadmill. So this is a starting warm up empty bar bench press. I take this warm up actually very seriously. If you can notice that I'm already arched, I'm already pressing on the floor, I'm keeping very tight and I'm being very very explosive even on these um, easy warm-up sets like with 40 kg for example I'm still uh, I left this on purpose in the footage so you can see that I'm taking very very seriously I'm practicing my ritual before every set I have a ritual where I do like check the grip width make sure that my wrist is in position just everything is in line and that everything is perfect and it's gonna be repeated throughout the, every single set is gonna look almost the same and the reason is because I want consistency so I can uh, easily make changes and modifications when I review this footage and some stuff I've learned from just this footage just looking at it and I'll be going through that as we go through the sets. This is, this is the third warm-up set with 60 kg, 7 reps and I'm doing 7s usually for warm-up and my last warm-up set is usually a set of 3 to 5 depending on how warm I am. I felt pretty good after that 60 so this is just an 80 kg for 3 reps. I'm also adding my wrist wraps here, which means that I'm getting a little bit more serious. And uh, the wrist wraps definitely help with this, so I will um, be using them for my 5x4 today, because this was a 5x4 workout, and I'm doing that at 113 kg. So my progression is for this week, 5x4 reps next week, which after this would be 5x3 reps, which will be added weight. And then I would take a deload and I would make my base weight uh, 113 for 5. So I'm following a basic progression scheme that um, I've set up for my uh, current workout plan to be essentially add every fifth week, add some weight to the to the bench press. And I'm going through this phase right now. You can, th you can see that my arch is pretty big. This is a powerlifting style bench press, strength day, 4 reps. And I'm focusing, really pressing on the floor. And you'll see that I'm really going into it with my entire body here especially you can see like my my back is very arched and my legs are pressing down against the floor you might even notice that my uh, hips go a little bit upward and it's a little bit of the camera angle but also I did have this issue for a while where my hips would really shoot up so if my feet are not planted wide enough my hips will shoot it up so that's something I'm actually fixing so that's something I'm working on and that's the solution is essentially to move the balls of your feet out as much as you can and not allow your hips to even go up. But this kind of reduces the whole leg drive thing, but I'm not so focused on it. As you can see here, execution looks pretty similar to the set number one. Basically get ready, uh, make my uh, wrist in position. And the key here is to actually have the wrist positioning on the bar as uh, close to the bone of the wrist as possible and furthest away from the um, fingers. I see a lot of guys making this mistake. They uh, have the bar almost bending the whole wrist and that's where the weak point is created. That's where you lose a lot of strength so if the bar is not close to the bone of the, of the wrist. So as you can see here, this is my fourth set. It's good. It went pretty solid. This game's pretty smooth. The footage is a little bit speed up, but in general, I didn't have any issues with speed. Uh, I was feeling pretty strong. The bar is going up pretty damn fast. I'm looking to actually narrow my grip for the next week when I'm going to be doing sets of three. And I'm going to be narrowing down my grip a little bit. I'm going to be lowering the bar a little bit further forward as well. 
just to try that out i think i have a lot stronger triceps than um, I'm using it right now, so I should be using a little bit more of my triceps. So I'm gonna be changing that. This is the fifth set. So see, pretty smooth. And I'm moving into pull-ups after this because I'm actually alternating chest and back. I'm not doing three exercises back in a row or two exercises. I'm actually alternating them all the time. And this is with attached 20 kg. Target is between six and 10. I'm doing sets of eight uh, with 20 kg. I'm building that up until I reach three sets of uh, 10 with 20 and then I'm gonna go to 25 and that's the, pretty much my progression here. And yeah, this looked pretty good. I did have some issues with the last rep but I managed to grind it out. I could probably grind out one more rep but that would make me work very, very close to failure and this is a strength day so I'm actually leaving one or two reps left in the tank. So that's the way I'm basically doing these strength days. And yeah, this is essentially the last set. You can see here, I'm doing the eight reps. It's actually going quite fast. I'm pretty happy with the way the pull-ups are progressing. After this, I'm gonna move on to dips. And essentially, I did a horizontal press, which is a bench press, I did a vertical pull. And now I'm doing a vertical kind of press with the dips. So I'm just alternating these. And the dips are going pretty good. Eight reps with 30 attached, um, pretty nice. I didn't really feel um, so stressed on this. I don't know why I stopped at the eighth rep. It was just that this week I actually added weight, so I didn't expect to reach eight reps, and now I'm already in the second set. I'm going to nine reps, and I didn't really expect to be um, adding weight on the dip so fast. So I'm definitely gonna uh, try to go for three times 10 with 30 next week and just to upgrade that to 35 as soon as I can. And you'll see here that the dips are going pretty fast. Uh, I think only in the last set of this uh, day I had to, I guess a, the lockout was a little bit slower in the last rep, which was, which was for 10 reps. And uh, I definitely could have pulled off um, three times 10 even this week, but I just left a little bit in the tank and just, uh, I'm, I'm not in a hurry, I'm just using patience and just progressing slowly. Dips are going pretty good. I've, um, I think this is essentially becoming one of my favorite exercises. So as you guys can see, I'm moving on from the dips to a horizontal pull, which is gonna be a seated cable row. Essentially I'm alternating chest and back. It kind of gives me more stimulation, more rest between each muscle group. And these are quite heavy. These are with 103 kg. Or nine and I have an issue with this here because um, my ass is sliding on the machine because there's almost no grip and I don't I can't add chalk here in this section and it's becoming a little bit of a problem as you can notice here in the second set I'm, very, I'm having a very hard time keeping tight so I'm actually gonna have to do these with a towel or something that sort of sticks under my ass so I can actually be in position and very tight so I can stimulate but these are going pretty well uh, managed to pull some uh, decent reps out here. I'm very close to upgrading this to, to the next uh, weight, to the next uh, weight on this machine. So essentially it did nine on the third set. That means I'm going very close to that, uh, to getting 10 of all three sets. So it's pretty solid. And here I started actually having some issues with the overhead press really didn't feel so good. That day, I think I kind of exhausted it with the my shoulders with the bench press and the dips. So I went in really hard into the overhead press in the first, and I actually went to failure, which um, this is because I didn't commit to the fifth rep. And after the seventh rep, I said, okay, fuck it, let me try to do the eighth, and I actually failed. And that kind of ruined my overhead press for the day. I probably could have pulled out um, three times seven, but then I actually have settled for six reps on the second. Um, funny enough, last week I did three times eight overhead press, but the weight on the bench press and on the dips were, was lower. So the overhead press isn't really my priority right now. It's kind of uh, back in the workout at, at almost near the end, so it's not a big priority for me at the moment. As you can see here, I pulled the third set. Some might, might argue that my spine is very hyperextended. It's true, but that's just the way I'm structured. I haven't noticed any back pains from this. I might actually add a belt, but that's about it. I'm moving to 
curls, some bro work, get some biceps work done because the biceps hasn't got a lot of stimulation from the pull-ups and the cable rows. This is pretty easy set of 40 with 8. Uh, I've actually uh, done with 7 last week and this week with 8. I think I could have probably rested a little bit more and pulled off a 9 or a 10 there. And I'm super setting these with the standing dumbbell ladder raises. With their, these are 14 kg dumbbells. And they went pretty good for 10 reps. I felt like I was kind of using momentum on the last rep here. And that's why I've um, kind of, you'll see in the second set of these, I've reduced the number of uh, reps because the momentum pretty much um, that didn't, didn't really feel like I was using the shoulder that much. So there we have the second set of the easy curls that went for 8 reps again. The first few reps move super fast and it's kind of tricking me into feeling that I can handle more weight but when I move on to the 8th uh, repetition and that that's where it kind of I could pull more but I would cheat my form so I'll see next week if I can pull up more. Second set of the dumbbell uh, raises goes pretty good. They're going uh, decent. I'm kind of at the end of the workout. I'm quite exhausted. This is about an hour and 20 minutes in. So um, this is the third set here. And I'm essentially just uh, hammering to get out those eight reps. And this is the, the pretty almost the last set of the day basically. So working on that bicep. The pump is already there. You can see on the arms, even with the shirt, the arms get pumped pretty fast. I never really have problems with arms. So uh, this is the last set of the ladder raises for nine. They work pretty good. I uh, was pretty happy with the performance this day and definitely some change for the next week. And that's it. And some posing to end the day. And thanks for watching. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm gonna plan to put out more of these in the future. The issue is kind of filming in the gym when it's super crowded. I'm usually going in the late evening. So fighting with people with plants in the camera, but kind of managing to get away with that right now so looking forward to putting more of these in the future hope you guys enjoyed leave me in the comments below what do you think about the video if you enjoyed it and if you have any suggestions let me know and i'll see you guys in the next video peace